One of the most common things we do in data analysis is to generate descriptive statistics to give us an idea of where some key value lies, like central tendency, median, and uh, how the data is dispersed. To do this in Excel, the first thing you're going to want to do is turn on the data analysis tool pack. And uh, if you don't already see a data analysis group over here on the right, you're going to want to hold the Alt key, type T, then type I. This opens up the add-ins dialog box. And you just check the first option there, analysis tool pack. You can see it adds the data analysis group here. And I'm going to click on data analysis. There's lots of statistical operations you can do with this feature. I'm going to select Descriptive Statistics and then click OK. We're going to select an input range. I'm going to point out at the sheet and select the B column. Okay, we can just note that the B column does have a label in the first row, so I'm going to check that box. All right, I can select where I want the output to go. I'm just going to let it go to a new worksheet. Then we need to check the box for summary statistics. Uh, if desired, you can generate a confidence interval for the mean. And uh, if you're interested in how the data is dispersed out near the endpoints, uh, you can check the k largest and k smallest and change those values to something like maybe the second or third observation. Okay, with all your choices selected, you just click OK and the statistics get generated. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay, so these are the descriptives that, that show up. All right, if you hadn't checked the K largest and K smallest boxes, these would not be here. All right, and if you had checked the confidence interval, uh, you would see a confidence interval here for the mean. All right, once you get the uh, statistics generated, you can go ahead and format the numbers any way you want. So since this was a weekly change in percents, maybe we want to view these things in percents. Okay. All right, you can also do multiple columns at the same time. So we're going to go back to the data tab. I'm going to select data analysis. Again, select descriptive statistics. All right, and then I'm just going to change the input range. All right, I'm going to check the confidence interval this time so we can see what that looks like. I click OK, and uh, now instead of just seeing one sort of entry in the table, we see all three. All right, so we can compare these things side by side. Again, if you want, you can reformat the numbers. Okay. And here's our confidence interval, uh, which basically just tells us the, uh, the margin of error. All right, so what we would do to get the confidence interval is take the mean and add and subtract our margin of error to get the confidence interval for the mean.